Hi, my name's Perky. And I'm Kristen, and we're from RascalRides.com. Today we're going to review the Burley Piccolo Trailer Cycle. The Burley Piccolo is a great option if your kids have outgrown their regular trailer or their bike seat, and they're too slow or can't bike far enough to get where your family needs to go riding their own bike. We consider the Burley Piccolo best in class. If you're looking for a great trailer cycle, this is the first one we'd recommend. Most trailer cycles mount to your seat post. The Burley Piccolo attaches to a rack. Other trailer cycles we've had have had a lot of wobbling where your kid will lean from one side to the other and it completely throws you off balance. That's not true with the Burley Piccolo. It's very stable and it also has a great turning radius. The rack's easy to install. The instructions aren't the best, but it's straightforward as long as you have eyelets on both your rear triangle and at the dropout. If you don't have eyelets on your rear triangle, there are some clamps included with the rack, but you have to have the eyelets at the dropout. Installing the piccolo onto the rack is super easy. It takes less than 30 seconds. We've also found that the hitch is super secure and we haven't had any problems with that rattling loop. Oh, let's tell them about the gears. Okay, let's talk about the gears next. How you shift? One thing that makes the Burley Piccolo unique is that it has gears. Seven of them. In fact. But what do you think about the shifting? Uh, there's something wrong and different. There's something wrong and different. So it's pretty hard for little fingers to shift. Show them how? Yeah, let's show them. We really like having gears, even though it might be a little bit hard for kids to be able to shift once they get the hang of it, they're going to go a lot faster. In fact, when I can feel my son go into the right gear, he actually helps propel me forward and I can feel it. That's something we've never experienced on a trailer bike without gears. The biggest problem you're going to have with the Burley Piccolo is bike compatibility. It won't fit on a fat bike. Your bike's got to have eyelets to accept a rack, and it probably won't work if you have disc brakes. This means of the 10 or so bikes we had at our house, only one of them worked with the Burley Piccolo. That's going to be your biggest issue, but if you have a bike that works or you can find one cheap on Craigslist that might work, it's totally worth it because everything else about the Burley Piccolo is awesome. The Burley Piccolo is also really lightweight. It weighs nine pounds less than the WeHoo trailer cycle, for instance. If you think that's not important, you're crazy because at some point, this kiddo is not gonna pedal anymore and he's gonna sit there and let you drag him. So the lighter the trailer cycle, the better. We really like the lightweight of the Burley Piccolo. One thing we really like is the quick release seat post collar allows it to be adjusted easily without any tools. The handlebars are also adjustable. There are four screws here and they allow the handlebars to slide up or down the arm. The trailer cycle fits kids from about ages 4 to 10. Unfortunately to be able to do this, the crank arms and the Q factor, which is the length between one pedal and the other, is quite wide. The crank arms are a little bit long for little kids. So you might want to swap out the crank arms if you have a four-year-old riding. As far as the key factor goes, we don't think it's as big of a deal because you are helping your child pedal the bike as opposed to them riding their own bike. The wheels are 20 inches and the tires are 20.175. They're pretty slick, so they work great and fast rolling for around town riding. But if you're going to do any rail trails or um, off-road riding, we'd really recommend putting on some knobbier and higher volume tires. Luckily, the bike will accept 2.2 inch wide tires, so you're set. The rear wheel does not have a quick release, so you will need a wrench if you end up with a flat. In addition to around town riding, the Burley Piccolo also works well for mountain biking. It has a good turning radius. I find it better than the WeHoo, and it's also higher up off the ground than the WeHoo, so your kids aren't going to get all the dust and grime in their eyes. You will want to put on a bigger tire, though. If you like bike touring, the Burley Piccolo is also a good option because there's actually space for panniers on the rack. 
for storage and transportation, there are bolts here that allow the arm to break into two. It's still pretty big, but we did manage to fit it in the back of my SUV. Bottom line, we think the Burley Piccolo is awesome. And if you're looking for a trailer cycle, this is the best one around. It's a little bit spendier than others, uh, but well worth the money. And if you do want to save some coin or some weight, go ahead and take a look at the Burley Kazoo, which is the same trailer cycle without the gears. For more information, visit rascalrides.com. Um, hit subscribe, it's right here. Did you hear that? Visit rascalrides.com and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.